All right, let's start the next step. So I'm gonna go pretty quick. I don't wanna waste your time. So we need to start adding color to this and I have done one already before. Um, I just wanted to test it out. So when you peel off your paper, okay, then you can keep the paper or throw it away. Then what you're going to do is you're gonna use regular markers and you're gonna color this entire piece of foam in okay use all different colors um do a really nice neat job let's see i'm just going to color super fast because i want you guys to get back to this next step but the better you add color the better these look i just want to kind of show you the process so obviously you guys take a little bit more time than me but for today's purposes, for my video, I'm going to go real quick here. Okay, so color the entire thing in. Maybe I'll add some green back in here in my little triangles, maybe back there. And I don't know, I think I need a blue. I put lots of new markers in your baskets, so um, the markers work really well. And when you color on this, the markers transfer really well onto this printmaking foam because it's very slippery. And so it colors really easy. Okay, so now I did that really fast. <laughs> Please don't go as fast as me. Um, before, let's see. Then what you're going to do is take your sponge and you might want to, as you're coloring, I should have done that first, but as you're coloring, set your wet spent, your damp sponge on this paper. Okay, you guys will go back by the sink. There's a little plate, there's a little sponge, and you need this plate and sponge today, okay? Because the transfer onto the paper doesn't really work unless the paper is kind of damp. You don't want it soaked, you don't want it really, really wet either, okay? So I'm gonna check my paper, and it feels pretty wet. I do see some, I don't know if you guys can see it in the, in the video, it does look maybe a little too wet, but let's try it. This printmaking process is a lot of trial and error. So sometimes you're gonna print one and you're not gonna like it, and sometimes you're gonna print them and you're really gonna like it. It's about finding that perfect print and then kind of remembering the steps that you took to get there, okay? So I have my, my marker, my ink on this side of my design. I want you to take your print and put your fingers on the side so it doesn't touch the, the marker. And you're gonna line it up to where that sponge was on your paper. I like to start in the corner and then keep working my way across. And you can't move it. So when you line it up, only set it down once and then rub the back of it, push it down, rub all over, apply lots of pressure if you can. Let's see, and now I'm gonna see what it looks like. I peel it off, and there's my transfer, my print. Now you can see, I should have, while I was coloring this, I should have had my sponge sitting on the paper because it looks like the paper absorbed the water on this side, but then over here, the print didn't transfer that well because my paper wasn't really that wet. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna try it again and see if I can do better. Get a wet paper towel. Okay, and wipe off your ink. So you'll, leave, you'll need this at your table today. You kind of need a lot of stuff. Wet paper towel, and then get a dry paper towel and just repeat the process, okay? So now, instead, I learned from my mistake. Instead of coloring and having my sponge over here in the plate, now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put the sponge over on the paper, maybe just tap it down a little bit, and I'm just gonna let it sit there while I color this in and then do some new color designs on my um, printmaking foam. So I'm gonna change up the colors, I'm gonna do something different, and I'm gonna try this idea for this one, okay? I'm gonna see if it works out better. And then just keep going, you'll do rows and rows and rows until it's all filled up, okay? If you wanna exchange with anyone, you're welcome to exchange with a friend if you wanna give, give them your square for a little while and then you use theirs, okay?
okay? Just make sure you take care of it if you're using someone else's um, printmaking foam, okay? Try not to damage it. All right, you guys, I hope you have fun with this. It's probably gonna take us more than one day to fill up our entire paper with all of these prints just because it's quite the process to color, print it, clean it, and repeat, okay? So let's get started. I hope you guys have fun.